personally look forward to this season because it's a brand new car it's a bit of a reset to zero to for everyone and i think it's a it's a great opportunity i i like what i see from the car what what the team has been up to this last year developing it i've been following very closely i've had my my input and and now it's it's time to put it on track and see where we can get to coming to you Charles. next what are your ambitions for this year and what are the areas that you worked on over the winter that you know you kind of want to finesse ahead of the season i think i kept uh, working in the same direction as i did in 2021 because i've seen so much benefits in working in that direction which is just the management of the race as a whole whether it's time management where i've done a big step in 2021 or or just yeah trying to take a step back out of the car and understand uh, the whole strategy um, we, we and what you want to achieve in a race so this is the direction in which i'm working on but i try to just get better as a driver as a whole and um, and and yeah I, i've been working as hard as i uh, could possibly can how aggressive do you think the technical department have been with this car as you're chasing down Mercedes and Red Bull? Uh, I don't think aggressive is the right word. I would say more brave or open-minded. And we tried different ideas at the wind tunnel, not only, and we tried to pick up what we believe was the best. And uh, I think that the team has worked very united, which was not obvious because obviously the last seasons have been somewhat difficult for us. They tried to, to raise the level as well in terms of skill, competence, methodologies and process, but certainly being more open-minded. That I think that if you look at the car and the, the result, I think it's quite obvious and straightforward that finally what we achieved is quite a different car. And I think that that's great because it's uh, we, we did our best and I can see it with a lot of passion, uh, a lot of collaboration, and I, I love the team spirit I've seen. I know that if you ask any Ferrari fan, they'll always say the target is the World Championship. And I know as working for Ferrari, that's always the target. But what do you think is the realistic goal this year? Uh, certainly, it's, if not our target, that uh, is our ambition because we are Ferrari. But between the ambition and uh, I think we need to be somehow uh, realistic. And uh, if I look at last year, the gap to the best was certainly very big at the end of the, the season. And so it means that those teams are, are very strong. And if they have been strong in the past, they will continue to be very strong. So they are still for us a benchmark. Our objective is to be back competitive. And me, by, for me, being competitive means somehow being capable of winning races and somehow try to go to each single race and to fight for the best position. One thing that is stable this year, at least, is your driver lineup. And you talk up and down the paddock and you hear that they believe that you've got one of the strongest driver lineups. When you've got that car ready to go, do you think you're ready to, to become world champions with those two drivers? I think, as I often mention, this is the best lineup. I, I believe really that's the best lineup and there are two great champions uh, that have proved to be very fast, consistent, good, good racers. So uh, Charles in 19 has proved to be capable of winning races. So no doubt that he's got the right talent, the right capacity, uh, the right mentality and the right approach. And uh, they are part of the team. They know that as first to be back to be on the podium on the best position on the podium we need our car to be to be sufficiently fast to to achieve it and uh, that's part uh, as first our objectives together is try to develop the car as much as we can certainly at the start of the season to exploit maximum of its potential and let's see if the, the car will be fast enough uh, to be capable to to battle for the best position lovely stuff and just coming back to you Charles what have you made of the cars that you've seen so far and then in particular the Ferrari and are you hopeful that you guys can be a little bit closer to Mercedes and Red Bull this year? Well I mean first of all it's quite surprising because um, before the first car was announced I was expecting all cars to look more or less the same but at the end um, after seeing all of these cars they are all different they all the teams have taken different routes of, uh, of development which makes it very very interesting um, speaking about ourselves, I am, yeah, I am um, completely confident that the team has done uh, its absolute best to try and, and achieve the best, the best result. And I think we've got great, great people here in Ferrari. Um, hopefully, great drivers too. And uh, and hopefully, when we put everything together on track, we'll be able to fight for wins. Great stuff. And then just coming back to you, Carlos. How are those talks progressing on a new contract and then seeing yourself at Ferrari for the foreseeable, something you're, you're aiming for? Yeah, they're, they're progressing. Um, as you guys know, I'm, I'm very happy in Ferrari. I believe also, uh, as Matthias said many times, uh, 
we are both happy with 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 each other it's just a matter of of now getting to agree uh, into into what's going to happen in the future and yeah i hope that we have something to tell you um, in the near future but at the moment we are just in discussions and we are trying to 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 agree on everything